Scalable terrain models are created from elevation source data, such as terrain from inroads or geopack, elevation points from a point cloud, and break lines which define abrupt changes in the terrain. In this example, an STM will be created from the elevation points, the break lines, and the overpasses. A new STM is created from the Scalable Train Model dialog, which is accessed from the File menu. The new STM Settings dialog provides options in the following categories General, Extended, Scalable Train Model, calculated features, and geographic information where the coordinate system can be set. These settings can also be accessed via the Element Information dialog at any time during the design session. Once created, the empty STM file is attached and added to the list of files in the Scalable Terrain Model dialog. The STM Elevation Source Editor is opened. This editor is used to select import and otherwise manage the elevation source data that's used to build the STM. STM files can be composed of multiple sources of elevation and clip data. The files are added via the file menu or the icon bar presented at the top of the dialog. In this example, the points, break lines and overpasses are added from DGN levels in the attached reference. Source files are processed in the order they appear in the file list. To manage the source files and enable custom processing, consider grouping files together. Files can be grouped by choosing the Group option from the Edit menu. Once all the source files have been imported, the STM can be generated. Depending on the volume of source data, this operation can take some time. When done, the status of the STM changes from empty to up to date. The STM system tracks changes to source files and displays the status of the STM in the title bar and in the status column. An STM is up to date when the source files have not been modified. If the status reads dirty, then the STM needs to be regenerated due to changes made to the source files. As the top view is zoomed in, notice how the volume of displayed triangles changes as the view scale changes. This is the result of the multi-resolution spatial index that's used to compute the surface at the right level of detail based on the view scale. The display of a scalable terrain model is controlled through various options that can be set in the Scalable Terrain Model dialog or the Element Information dialog. For optimal performance, the STM display engine takes into account the following. The resolution of the computer screen, the various resolution representations that were generated during the creation of the STM, and if applicable, the perspective setting of the microstation view. The density of points displayed in a shaded or non-shaded view is a value between 10 and 100. How the edge of the STM is displayed is determined by the edge method, which can be set to none, slivers, or maximum triangle length. <laughs>